We all know besides fireworks, one of the best things to do on the 4th of July weekend is to do a bit of cooking. Joining me today, Larry Misla with the Oak Tavern in Oakley. Thanks for joining us as always. We appreciate Thanks, it. And I smell some pulled pork. Right. Walk me through this. What do uh, we got? Well, we're making a pulled pork sandwich today, but it's not based with barbecue sauce. It's based with an ancient Mayan marinade. It's called a ricotto, and there's several different ricottos. And the ricotto consists uh, mostly of toasted onions, toasted garlic. Um, it's all pureed with ancho chilies, which okay. are dried poblanos, which are really good peppers. And uh, you have some cumin in there, some pepper, oregano, allspice. Um, it's very good. So it's different. It smells it's not, good. It's delicious. And it goes great with pork. Okay. So and then on top of that, we're going to make a carrot slaw. To now, put on I like top. coleslaw. <clears throat> Does that mean I like carrot slaw as well? Oh, you'll love carrot slaw. Let's it's carrots, it. cumin, got uh, some toasted um, cumin seeds ready to go. So what we want to do while the pork's heating up is we're going to get on this carrot slaw real quick. It's going to shred some of this carrot here. If you want, I'll do that for you. I got it. You got it? Okay. <laughs> right, I'll end up cutting myself. Yeah, you'll grate a finger. <laughs> so we'll just do a little bit, enough for a sandwich. Perfect. <laughs> the recipe will call for more. We have some cilantro, fresh cilantro that we're going to put inside. Just a little, little touch of cilantro. Coriander seed, which is dried... Um, dried seeds from the cilantro leaves, some toasted cumin, a little bit of cider vinegar. Okay. Sugar. Keep it sweet. We all love sugar. And then um, some lime juice. Fresh lime juice is always good. And then a little bit of jalapeno just to give it a kick. Got to have a little bit of spice. And you really don't want to use um, your bare fingers with these like I'm doing. You should use gloves. Because then when you touch... Don't do exactly what you're doing. Right, when you touch, touch your eyes later, it's miserable. Okay. So a little bit of... A uh, little bit of diced jalapeno. Try to get it fine. And then we can mix that up. All right. A little bit. I'm still smelling that pork. The there. pork's delicious. Mm. The cumin seeds in here give it a real nice bite. The lime juice, it all works together. It's nice to have this sit maybe for like an hour in your okay. refrigerator. The pork itself is uh, ready to go. It's good and hot. Serve it with some nice tortilla chips. Sorry about that. No, that's all right. So you got your pork on a bun, like any good 4th of July. And who doesn't love pulled pork? It's delicious. If you don't like pulled pork, then you don't need to be at a grill out for the 4th of July is what I say. And then put some, top this off with some carrot slaw. That one's yours. Now I have to give our viewers a little secret. Every time Larry comes, he also brings cheeseburgers for us. So I've already ate mine. <laughs> so this is sandwich number two for me, but you can look at me and tell I don't mind eating two sandwiches every <laughs> now and then. That is actually good. really, really good. Thanks. Thank you so much for You're coming welcome. in. Thank you. To learn more, just go to WCPO.com. We'll have the recipe on there again. Larry Mesla with the Oak Oak Tavern. Tavern. Down in Oakley.